bit of a different setup than you're used to. I just wasn't in a mood to set everything up and I can't wait to have my own apartment in order to have a nice studio where I just can press record and go ahead, talk to you guys. Yeah, I promised a video about Pablo, the French Bulldog. I haven't made an update video since in over like a year or two years even. I, I'm, I'm not sure actually. Um, but you guys wanted to know more about owning a French Bulldog. Well, costs went up. Um, something you have to take into account with when owning a French Bulldog is that they have a lot of health issues. And I even inspected slash had my dog checked before I bought him. Checked his mother and his father to say so for any, well, let's say diseases or problems that he could transfer. He had a very nice nose, so he didn't need the operation to have his uh, nose gaps widened, to say so, something like that. He has strong hips, strong legs, no problems with his back. Um, so those are like the most common problems and he didn't have problems with his skull. His skull was healthy. So he's a real, real healthy French Bulldog when it comes to the common issues with French Bulldogs. But not so long after, so after his first year, like he was one and a half or two. Now he was, yeah, around one and a half slash two. Um, we noticed that he started having red, like, issues on his skin or like red paws, uh, a red neck. He started uh, being way more grumpy and angry. He had like sacking, hanging eyes. He was just not having a good time. We went to check it out and we were sent to a research center and we had to do a research on, first on food. We found out that he's intolerant to chicken and basically anything with wings to say so. So no chicken, no birds, no anything like that. He only eats sheep, salmon and beef. He cannot have raw meat, also is bad for him. And we tested it on him. Some French Bulldogs prefer only raw meat, but mine just do cannot handle it. So then we tried one hypo, uh, oh yeah, then after that we went on a test for his skin and we find out that he had 26 allergies, something like that. Yeah, 26 different allergies. And then you could see how allergic he was to them on a scale of one to five, something like that. And he's very allergic to grass. Yeah, and it's, you're like, what? Dogs allergic to grass? Yeah, and it's very common. Um, he had some other allergies uh, with food as well. So we had hypoallergenic food, which he ate the cup first couple of months, then he stopped eating them, didn't like him anymore. Then we switched to another hypoallergenic food. So it's like a special diet for uh, dogs with a lot of allergies and intolerances. And then now we have the third one, insect base. And I'll put the picture in right now so you can see which, which food I'm giving him. Perfectly fine on eating, very good for him, healthy, no problems with his skin, etc. But the research and all the research stuff costed um, around 650 euros, which you have to pay for yourself. So that's 650 euros. After that, um, that was the research only. So after that, you also pay for every visit to the specialist is like 100, 100 euros, something like that. And we have went like probably six, seven times since we discovered his allergies. So that's another six, 700 euros. So there you have it, 1200, 1400 euros. You might think that's it. No, he is having a therapy, an immune therapy to, um, he had two immune, immune therapies uh, for six months, which basically um, injects the allergies or the stuff that he's allergic to into his blood, but small doses so his body can get used to it and um, create immune cells to battle the allergies and to be less allergic to say so, or even completely heal from the allergies. And that we did it two times for six months and the, um, the, the bottles are custom made for allergies of your dog. So uh, two times six months was 1250 euros. And on top of that, he needed pills against the skin itching and problems with that. Pills for his stomach problems, um, for his digestion and stuff. So those pills, he gets two pills a day now, currently every day and those pills cost 50 euros a month. And we've been giving that for a year as well. So let's say, say another six, 700 euros on that. So um, soon after that video of costs of toys and food and stuff that I'm giving him, which I'm gonna add up for you again, because it changed a bit and I'm gonna show you guys what I give to him, um, uh, which works for my French Bulldog. So it doesn't mean it's gonna work for your French Bulldog because he has so much allergies, he's getting special stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's I think an additional 4,000 euros on medication since I made that video and on research 
and now it's just a steady 50 bucks a month for his for his pills for his medication uh, on which he's doing just fine so that's that's great every month he goes to the vet to get his ears cleaned out his um, nails taken care of and uh, for a checkup because with this allergies and stuff we just really want to monitor his progress um, that's like 50 bucks as well so like let's say 100 bucks a month for the vet and for his medication food is like uh, one big bag of 12 kilos he can do two and a half months with that and it's special foods it's way more expensive it's 95 euros for 12 kilos for his diet to say so um, he gets a lot of exercise and he's like he's been completely different and changed dog way happier than he used to be compared to the well to the time before we even knew he had allergies and problems with food we always knew something was not okay because well you could see it on his behavior but we didn't realize on what it could be we're just like ah maybe he has a day off oops i forgot to add a small part in um Pablo also has a paralyzed, partially paralyzed gullet, which means that he needs to eat standing up or as much vertically as possible. That's why he's eating from this custom made uh, constructed feeding uh, desk. It's like a small desk actually. He stands up on one stair and then he eats almost vertically. So the uh, food glides down instead of that the body has to transfer it uh, down to his stomach. And I also feed him five times a day instead of a uh, regular two times. Um, five times in small portions so that uh, his stomach or belly can process it uh, accordingly. So that's another issue that Pablo has, health issue. And apparently that's also very common. And luckily it's only the last part of his gullet and not the entire gullet, otherwise he would be puking all the time. Uh, but if I don't do this, then he pukes out his food often. So yeah, so this is a bit of the background on ownership of a French Bulldog, like an update slash review. Um, uh, as you can see, I showed you guys all the products that I give him. It's not a lot. I give him just uh, his, his food. Uh, when we go for a walk and stuff, he likes biscuits. They're very dry. They don't make him fat. That's also a problem with French Bulldogs. They get fat easily, so you really have to watch their weight. He's on a perfect weight. And those cookies just, we can give three, four of them a day and he won't gain any weight from them. Um, then I have some sticks that I give every three to four days to clean his teeth. Medication every day. For the people who are wondering why he looks so well groomed to say so, his skin slash fur, however you want to call it, um, uh, it's because I give him with every meal even one spoon of salmon oil, which is really good for his skin and for, uh, for his like fur. I don't know if you call it fur, is it fur? I think so. On top of that, he gets one bonbon of um, sheep fat every day. That's also very good for his skin and for his fur, both of them. And then um, also reduce the amount of hair that he's losing. Uh, will reduce um, shing and, and having itches to say so. It will just have a real good healthy skin and fur for him. So I really recommend on doing that. And it doesn't cost a lot. So I buy all those things and give him daily stuff. Um, daily walks of course and that's it that's how we maintain him so yeah it's kind of kind of a bumpy ride i didn't expect like a dog to have so much let's say allergies and stuff related like like a human he has like almost the same allergies as me and that's that's not a joke like almost this, exactly the same i'm see just you know just like a human it gets a bit ill pukes a bit that kind of stuff it's just just like a little baby that never grows up and i never expected it to be like that like like this hard or this expensive but i guess that's also because it's a french bulldog but then again i talked to other dog owners who have french bulldogs and other dog races and they all have some kind of problems or similar things so every dog and every every cat almost every dog and almost every cat have some kind of issues just like a human like health issues an allergy or something like that and you really have to take that in account, which I, I did from the beginning. So it cost me a lot of money as, as, as I just told you, um, be, because besides of the price of purchasing all the stuff for him initially. So I know for sure that in the past three years, so since I got my dog, he turned three, two days, three days, three days ago, three days ago, I spent roughly, let's say eight to $10,000 or euros on, um, all his food, his medication, research, vet, 
controls, all the stuff I had to buy initially for him as a puppy. So 10K over three years. That's a lot of money. When you decide to buy a dog like this, you know what you're getting into. You have to be prepared to take care of all of that. It's, it's a part of your family, just like it is a baby or a kid. And you really have to realize that it's a living being that you have to take care of. And you're not, you're, you cannot like cheap out on that. Would you cheap out on like your own surgeries or stuff and go to, I don't know, some Romanian garage to get your heart fixed? No, you wouldn't. No, you, you pay the proper stuff, the proper doctors to take care of you or of people you love to, to do properly. Hope you guys like this video, this little update video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you have any more questions regarding to Pablo and owning a French Bulldog, um, please comment in the comment section down below and then I'll make a new video where I answer those questions again. I guess I answered most of the questions and most of the things people want to know in this video. Um, but yeah, there's always more, you know? And uh, I, maybe I can help you, maybe I can't, but if there is enough, I can make another video. If not, then I'll just uh, write answers in the comment section, of course. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Ciao. Perfect.